This is a quick look at the database editor project. This tool is probably the easiest and most convenient way to manage your MySQL database. The first thing you do is you select data source. These data sources are configured in the ignition gateway. And it shows all the database tables in that data source from that database. And then uh, this shows you all the columns, so you can look at the columns of all the tables. A little key icon, that means that it, this is a primary key. Like query. It shows all the data in this table. And I can go ahead and edit this. Oh, there's, too, there's too much, there's a bunch of junk in here, so I, I can delete those columns. Click on, click on delete rows, and then I click on apply changes to actually commit the changes to the database table. And then I can also edit data. And I can add new rows as well. So editing your data in your database tables is that easy. And I can modify my queries, write any queries I want. And if I do something wrong, I get an error. And it shows me pretty good what's wrong with my SQL queries. So that's pretty useful. This is in the SQL Data Editor tab. Uh, you can create more of the same tab. That way I can look at data in uh, different tables at the same time. And then there's also the Table Editor tab. This is the tab that's used for creating new database tables and altering existing database tables and deleting tables. So let's create a new table. And we'll make this int, make it a primary key. We can do anything we want here. And here's the query that gets executed. I can modify this if I want to. No real reason to, but it's just nice, nice that it's there. Create the table, and there it is. There it is, my table 12. And now it's switched mode. Now, now it's created, so now I could alter it if I want to. For example, I could rename my table, rename it to 20, and I can go ahead and change the fields if I want to. You could change your positions changes I could again write my own things here and if there's a problem I get a message here and tells me what's wrong with my query let's go to another table we can go to the people table I just double click on it to load it there it is I don't want field 2 anymore so I'll go ahead and remove that and apply and got some junk tables here I think that's a junk table. I'll go ahead and delete it. So it's very simple.